Hey, my name is Guy Cooper. I'm from the Picture Department here at Tenants Auctioneers. And in advance of next Saturday's Modeling Contemporary Art Sale, I thought I'd just take a couple of minutes and speak to my colleague Francesca Young about her pick of the uh, pictures in the sale. Fran, Hello. good to see you. This is Francesca Young, head of our Modeling Contemporary Pictures Department. And Fran, you've got a selection of Lowry's. You've got five Lowry's in the sale. Well, we've actually got five and a half Lowry's, Guy. How do you have five and a half Lowry's? Well, starting with this one, this is an example which is done by Harold Riley and Lowry. Um, the two were great friends since they met in 1945 when Lowry presented Harold Riley with his prize at um, school. And the two sometimes collaborated, mostly on works on paper, but occasionally on oil paintings. So it's quite rare to see this. Um, Lowry signed it here and Riley signed it here. Um, you can't be too sure who's done what, but it looks like because Lowry signed it here, perhaps he was more involved with the background. And so is that, is that part of a collection then, this, this picture? Yes, so we have three works from the same collection, um, including these two other examples as well. Okay, so this looks like, is this a work on paper? This is quite interesting because it's actually a rare pastel. You don't see many pastels by Lowry. And this is dated 1947, which is the earliest Come of on. a group of pastels which were done in the sort of Cumbria region. Um, a couple of examples which are later than this have sold and they're all done on the same blue paper and the same bright vibrant colours and they were done in Cleeter Moor. It's not clear if this is actually Cleeter Moor because I don't think there was any factories in that area but a few people have suggested it, it could be um, but certainly the same period, the same handling, same paper, same size and, and same vibrant colours. The other ones which sold were the fish and chip shop and the broken shop window um, but as I say this one is earlier than those so okay. that's nice. Very nice bit of artistic licence. Yes. Um, and then the last one from this collection. That's lovely. It's rather impressive. The Tug. Um, again, it's come from the same collection and it's been in the same family since 1970s. I think 1976, the Vendel's father purchased these two from two separate galleries. But this is a very sweet little example that was probably done when Lowry spent a lot of his time on the northeast coast um, in Sunderland at the Seaburn Hotel. And he often sort of, you know, looked out the window there and, and painted various scenes up and around on the northeast coast. Fantastic. So, I mean, for, for somebody like me, I tend to associate Larry more with figural scenes like that, but recently, obviously, hot on the heels of our North Sea picture that we sold last year, um, he seems to be a man who's, who's pretty interested in the sea. Yes, I think... Um... It perhaps wasn't so well known. I mean, there are many depictions of the sea that you see in catalogues and things, but um, it's becoming more and more to the forefront, his sea pieces, perhaps because they're slightly, you know, a different oeuvre that people aren't necessarily associating with him. But he did spend a lot of time on the northwest coast with his mother at Lytham and Rill. And then latterly, um, he preferred, once his mother had died, he spent a lot of time going up to, to Seaburn. So that's one collection. Yes. Then we move on to another collection here of works on paper. Well, this has come from a separate vendor, and those two have come from another Northwest collection. Right. But speaking of the Seaburn Hotel in Sunderland, quite nicely leads us on to this one, um, which is a very sweet little sketch that was actually done for Mr. Anthony, Leslie Anthony, who was the manager of the Seaburn Hotel in Sunderland. Okay. Um, it also comes with some little letters because Larry stayed there a lot, so he wrote quite a bit to, to Mr. Anthony. Um, they don't actually relate to the paint, uh, the drawing, but. Um, it was said that whilst Lowry was chatting to Mr. Anthony, he just got the back of a um, Sunderland Museum catalogue and with a biro and a pencil in one hand, started sketching this for him and dedicated it to Mr. Anthony. Um, okay. so it's really quite sweet um, that it has that provenance. And then moving on, we've got a family group at the seaside. Yes, so these are two sort of more fully worked drawings. Um, this is slightly more sketchy, obviously, but these, you know, drawings in their own right. Um, this is quite fun because it's a 1969 one and it's said to be sort of one of his only real sort of satirical depictions of a teenager at the seaside. It's making so it's a joint. Quite fun. <laughs> 
Um, and it's very typical of his sort of 1960s figures, which evolved from these styles to, to very much this style. So from the family group, we move on to, to the last work on paper then, and a bit of an unusual scene, what's going on here? Uh, well, this has come from an important uh, Northwest collector as well, the same one. Um, it's sort of a typical Lowry scene, lots of different figures. Again, you can see how it's evolved on to this start. It's 1970s. Um, he, you know, obviously drew a lot in the 1920s in and around Salford. And, you know, a lot of people there that he was painting at the time were factory workers and working class, and they didn't have, you know, they just had to wear whatever they, they could, really. So mm. a lot of their clothes didn't fit properly, and it was, at the time, how they were but he returns to this a lot throughout his life and even though this is a 70s one he's still sort of putting them in depression clothing mm. um They're oversized shoes yes. and coats he found it quite amusing i think so he continued to do that um but again it's a fully worked large drawing by him and also lowry he sort of couldn't really understand why people valued painting so much more he thought drawing was more important almost because their work's in their own right and you haven't got the sort of forgiveness of the the oil and the colour to, to make changes. Yeah, nothing to hide behind. No. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for talking us through those, Francesca. When's the sale? Um, the sale is on Saturday the 17th of June at 9.30. Be there.